Hello there, you Milk Toast programmers. It's the Average Engineer back again, and today we're going to talk about DuckDB inside Postgres. Yes, you heard me right. DuckDB running inside Postgres. It's time for some black magic. You know, it's funny. I keep thinking I know what's coming next, but this one caught me off. Running DuckDB inside Postgres? I wouldn't even have thought of that in my wildest dreams. What does that actually mean? It means what it means. So recently, DuckDB announced that they just released PG underscore DuckDB. It's a Postgres extension that embeds Duck, the DuckDB engine inside Postgres. And basically what they were claiming in their blog post and on social media posts is that, hey, you can have huge performance increases by querying your Postgres tables using DuckDB. And remember, just with an extension, so without leaving Postgres, this is all inside Postgres, not outside Postgres. I mean, it's kind of neat from two different perspectives. I mean, it's obviously an innovation, and innovations like this, although they might have hiccups in the front, they eventually lead to other tools, to other things happening. So I think it's, it's pretty cool to see that you can embed DuckDB inside Postgres. I mean, if you don't know about DuckDB, then you're probably living under a rock. It's like, you know, kind of the goat now of in-process analytics it's super fast it's like an in-process sql database um, so what that means like you spin up a process and you can instead of connecting to postgres and going through all this and that or any other type of relational database or this heavy over other tools heavy tools duckdb is really lightweight you know you can pip install it it's just like inside your process you have data and duckdb is pretty impressive you can read cloud files local files parquet csv pretty much anything and it's pretty fast at running analytics and that's kind of what they sell it as fast analytical tool and process so think about it they put that inside postgres and we're saying hey now you can run analytical queries that maybe postgres couldn't handle so great you know we can handle it better in duckdb and you don't have to lease postgres to do that and i'm gonna get a little bit of a spoiler alert i kind of put them to the test i saw that i was a little bit skeptical and it turns out it was right because of certain use cases, it's definitely not faster to use DuckDB inside Postgres. Postgres, what I, from what I tested, we'll talk about it here, was way faster than DuckDB. But don't get me wrong, it's pretty cool that they're doing this. For one thing, Postgres is ubiquitous across data platforms. Even I, who work on Databricks and massive hundreds of terabytes of data, we still use Postgres. Everybody uses Postgres. It's everywhere. DuckDB is super fast and super easy to use and install. And yes, Postgres, I have seen it myself. It can choke on analytical queries. It's really not, you know, it's really not made for OLAP. It's made for OLTP, transactional processing. So it can get kind of choked up on analytical processing queries, although it's plenty fast, as we'll see. I just want to read this quote from DuckDB's website. I think they may have updated it because they got mad at me after I posted my, I wrote an article about this, did performance test and posted it immediately after they did their release. And somebody from DuckDB contacted me and said, hey, you know, we updated it. We know what you're talking about. But here's the quote. Postgres SQL is often used for analytics. Even though it's not specifically designed for that purpose, which I agree with, this is because the data is re readily available, making it easy to start. However, as the data volumes grow more complex, more and complex analytical queries involving aggregation and grouping are needed, users often encounter limitations with Postgres. And I've seen this myself. This is true. And they are saying this is where analytical database engine like DuckDB comes into the rescue. And, you know, on the surface, I agree with everything they're saying but I wanted to test it. Remember, this is in a Postgres extension. There's lots of Postgres, Postgres extensions. This one's called PG underscore DuckDB. To test this, I actually generated 50 million records, basically, so I could test against this. And basically what I wanted to do is I wanted to run an analytical query on 50 million records with a group by an aggregation in Postgres. And then I wanted to run it using this DuckDB extension. I just wanted to compare the query speeds, right? I mean, they're saying this is what DuckDB is used for. I do have to say DuckDB does provide a Docker image, pre-built Docker image you can use. And I think this is important, especially for testing and using new things. I didn't have to go through all the work of installing an extension on a, you know, RDS, which I could and maybe I should, but, you know, they do provide a nice pre-built Docker image that you can use. Go check it out. And then to create the 50 million data set, I'll leave a link in the notes. I built my own Rust tool called Data Hobbit. It basically, you give it a JSON schema and tell it how many records you want. And it'll basically pump you out, you know, 50 million records of a CSV that then I could import into 
my Postgres database. Go ahead and check out the link to the GitHub of that data hub, but it's pretty cool. I'm looking for contributors. I'd like to put a Python wrapper on that and get it out in the community. So it's pretty easy if you want to do this yourself. I'll show the command on the screen here. You can just run a Docker command with this PG DuckDB image and it'll pull it down if you don't already have it. I'll show you the command here. This is the command of Data Hobbit, the Rust tool I built. You can just, if you want to do the same thing, just clone the repo, build it like I'm showing here, and then just run it. And you can see I'm passing it a JSON schema and telling it how many records I want, 50 million. I'll show you a picture. This is the schema I use, just some data, right? Like an ID, a first name, last name, email, phone number, age, bio, stuff like that. Just like a normal data set, 50 million records. And basically what I did next was just, I simply ran the container with this Docker command, pretty straightforward. And then I just copied my, as long as you're in the terminal where you just created that CSV file, you can just copy that file locally straight into your DuckDB image that they provided. And then of course, just start it and execute into psql to get inside the postgres image that of course has this extension pg duckdb already installed what i did is i created a sql table in postgres with indexes this will come this will be important later so i created this table to kind of match that schema of the data i generated and i created an index on age and is active because this will relate to the query i'm going to run remember whole point is we're going to run an analytical query and you know, most people have indexes on their Postgres tables. Otherwise, you're an idiot and should probably be fired. And so I went ahead and ran this. After I created the table, I went ahead and ran this copy statement to copy that CSV file with 50 million records into my table. And what I did is I ran this query twice that you're seeing. I ran it once without DuckDB and just Postgres. And then I ran it again using forcing the use of that DuckDB executing engine. And of course, you'll see I put an explain analyze at the top of this Postgres statement because I want to know what the execution time was. And it's a simple query, right? 50 million records from this table. I just grouped by age and is active and just said by age and is active count how many people. Pretty simple query. Run explain analyze. First, I ran it with just Postgres and I got an execution time of 3.97 seconds. That's pretty fast, right? 50 million records with an index to support that query. Postgres is pretty fast, 3.97, right? Postgres is great. So what you have to do to force Postgres to use this DuckDB execute, to execute SQL is I went ahead and ran this, set DuckDB force execution to true, okay? And then I just ran that same query and you can see the results here. I'll show you on the screen. You can see obviously the explain analyzer showing me the DuckDB plan. So obviously that part worked and it was actually a lot slower at 7.88 seconds. Wow. Now that's not what I was expecting. Remember in their press releases, blog posts, etc., they said this is exactly why we're making this because Postgres is bad at analytical group by aggregation queries. DuckDB is better. It's going to be way faster. What did we just see? It's actually way slower. So when I thought saw that, I was like, what's going on here? Maybe it's sort of a scale thing. What if I close the gap? What if I do 100 million records? Maybe, you know, as the records get bigger and you know, the data set gets bigger, maybe at that point, Postgres will start to slow down, DuckDB get faster. I should be able to see that if I double the size of this data set. Let's go 100 million and I ran it again. And as you can see, Duck, our Postgres did slow down 46 seconds on 100 million records, that exact same query. And then again, what you're seeing here is the DuckDB plan. I forced the execution of that and it's actually 72 seconds. So again, even at a larger, double the size of the data set, Postgres was still a lot faster. It's a little chart I threw together here that you can see just showing at 50 million records and 100 million records that Postgres indeed at analytical queries within a supporting index is way faster. What's going on here? And again, I'm not trying to poo-poo on DuckDB. This is a really cool thing, right? The PG DuckDB tool, it's extension for Postgres. It's cool. I get it. I mean, this is great. I think it's good innovation because you can do a lot of things inside Postgres with DuckDB that you can't necessarily do with Postgres that easy, right? I mean, if you're familiar with DuckDB, you can read and write from Delta Lake, Iceberg, Cloud Storage. It makes a super, bunch of stuff super easy. Remember now, you can combine that power of DuckDB and all the things it offers inside Postgres. This is going to be really useful for some people. But it did beg the question, why is PG DuckDB so much slower? And I went and found this answer on Reddit here. 
And this is the author, apparently, of, or at least one of the authors of PG DuckDB. And he's saying, so currently PG DuckDB does not support using indexes at all. Okay, it does a full table scan. Well, of course, it's going to be slower than Postgres then. Which makes me wonder, in their announcement, in their blog post, I mean, that's a pretty important thing to say. You come out saying, hey, DuckDB inside Postgres can be way faster for analytical queries. Well, no, it's not. They don't support indexes yet. It's doing full table scans, just like you saw in my two tests. It's going to be way slower. It's not going to be faster than Postgres. I mean, give me a break. Sure, if you delete the indexes on Postgres, maybe they'd be the same, but who's going to do that? And of course, I'll show you the screenshot here. They did a TCP benchmark in their blog announcement showing that DuckDB was faster. But again, if you read the fine notes in there, they did it without indexes in PostgreSQL. And again, I think that's a little tongue in cheek. Why would you do that? You can't do a benchmark against Postgres and delete the indexes in the Postgres database. Give me a break. Number one, no one has Postgres tables without indexes. That's stupid. And number two, they used a one gigabyte total data set to do the benchmark. Who's storing one gigabyte inside Postgres? That's not real, okay? It's not a real test. I don't like it when people do that, when they, you know, because people just, even like me, I'm just, I re read this announcement on LinkedIn, on the blog post. I'm like, oh, wow, this is going to be great. This is going to be super fast. And I go and do it. And it's like three times as slow. It's like, what the heck? Well, if they just would have told the truth up front, you know, I would have known that. And don't forget, unless you think I'm being hard on DuckDB, here is another quote that I'll show you from their website, from Mother Duck's website. Here it is again. This was at the beginning of their announcement. Postgres SQL is often used for analytics, even though it's not specifically designed for that purpose. This is because the data is readily available, making it easy to start. However, as data volume grows and more complex analytical queries involving aggregation and grouping are needed, users often encounter limitations. This is where analytical database engines like DuckDB come to the rescue. Well, it didn't rescue me this time, did it? I mean, remember, they literally told us as data volumes grow and more complex analytical queries involving aggregation and grouping are needed, this is where DuckDB comes to the rescue. Again, it definitely didn't do that. It was the opposite. I mean, honestly, just from their announcement, it just gives the casual observer the impression that using DuckDB to query your Postgres data is much, much faster than raw Postgres, and this is not true right now. Maybe it will change in the future. Is DuckDB faster? Say, can we just run DuckDB against a CSV file? Yeah, it's probably going to be way faster than Postgres, but that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about running DuckDB inside the Postgres engine. So what comes next? Hopefully they learn their lesson. Hopefully, you know, I'm going to, I'll keep them honest for you guys. Um, it doesn't bother me if they get mad at me. I've been doing this a long time. I'll bring you the truth, but I think it's cool that they did this. PG underscore DuckDB. It's a cool Postgres extension allows people to do amazing things, not just run fast queries. I think, you know, they should have focused on more of the other things that you can do with DuckDB. And now that you can do that inside Postgres, I think there's a lot of super sweet integrations there. You know, you can be reading Parquet files on S3 inside DuckDB, take that inside Postgres, inside DuckDB, take that result set, do something with it with data out of Postgres. I mean, there's amazing things that could happen here. They need to focus on that sort of thing. So let me know what you think in the comments.